You join me in the bedroom of Erebus's Block Emporium in the shopping district. Now, this will actually be the second time that I've shot my intro because the first time I didn't realise that I actually had the sound turned off on my recording software, so that was rubbish. Um, so what you missed, essentially, was that uh, we didn't make any money. And we need to find new ways of making money. But that may not be in this episode. <laughs> Uh, we then got assailed by a skeleton, which you missed, which you may still be out here. I can hear some bones jingle jangling. Now, I will re-show what I was going to show. And that is that David has finally built, finally finished building his new shop. Because, much like myself, uh, he was in dire need of finding new ways of making money. And um, what he has done is he's built this wonderful thing over here. So this is dusty contracting. And uh, what they aim to do, or what he aims to do, I should say, is... Well, contracting work, um, building, terraforming, all that kind of shizwaz. Um, and uh, between you and me, I may have some work for him in the near future. But that's for another day. So let's head back over here. Now, you might have noticed there are some straight roads. Straight roads. Well, I've kind of given let the cat out of the bag there. There are some straight lines, and these are going to be me marking out where the roads are going to go. And hopefully, so that we've actually got set patterns for... Um, you know where things are gonna go which is quite nice which is quite nice indeed we've also had a new person join the server who for the life of me at the time of recording this I've completely forgotten the name of but I'm sure that we will become firm friends in the near future and I shan't make that er error again now as you can see they've set up this lovely like little market stool type thing here we go what's this four iron ingots per stack String, they got some string. Now, I will admit, I've been over here, I've been buying some bits. Uh, what they got over here? Leaves, one diamond for six stacks. That's a, that's a pretty, that's a good bargain. This, guy, this guy's loaded already, look at him, raking it in. So, stands to reason even more that we need to find new ways of making money. Um, right, we have got a few errands to do today before we crack on with the episode. First one is, we have to go over to... Whacked Castle and find out if anybody's applied for the Knights. So as we're about to imminently ride up on the entrance of Whacked Castle, I thought I'd take this opportunity to say that I definitely think we're going to need a better entrance than this hole in the wall currently. Maybe, uh, maybe convert this into some sort of big gatehouse in the near future. Maybe that's something to, you know, something we can look into. Definitely need to look into it, because at the moment it's basically a cave. But, uh, you know, we'll have to run that past uh, Mr. Carl Von Towerhouse and um, the other members of the Order, if there is any at this moment. So let's go and have a little a little look-see. Have a little stakey-wakey. Nom-noms. Right. Da -da -da -da. Right. Up to the top. I mean, at this point, I might have to invest in some wings, because going up and down these stairs, oh, it, it takes a long time. There we go, right, let's have a look. So we've got the chests, what we got? Oh, we've got one. So we've got, da, 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 da. yeah, there is 12 in there. And that is the Tipper Ripper, he's applied. No one in there. Oh, who's this? Yeah, that's 12. <laughs> Very good, definitely paper. I think you lie, Mr. Robbo. Um, but there we go, we've got two occupants, and I don't have a flint and steel, so what we'll do is we'll come back to this as soon as we've got a flint and steel. we got a flint and steel. Right, so I think we can actually forego the need for a, a witness, as I'm capturing all this on video. So, there we go, so let's get this on the ground. So, uh, it's the only problem with collecting one of each flower, is it's not all stacked together, so I've got to do this one at a time, which is a pain in the ass. Congratulations, Mr. Tipper Upper and Robbo. You are both knights of the Withered Rose. Well, you're not you're not knights, you're squires, same as myself. You'll be knights soon. Squires, not knights. I apologise. <laughs> um, doesn't look like anybody's come and collected the the quest. Let's see if anybody's written anything in this. No, nope, not yet. Okay, cool. Yep. So that's still all to be done. Now we do have got a few other errands to run uh, in the castle. Get that all sorted. All that squared away. 
Uh, and that is, we have to give our two newest members their, um, their gear. Their gear, essentially. Okay, so we're back. And uh, let's give them both a bed, shall we? So, uh, wait, there we go. So this one is... I'm just going to call you the tipper. There we go. That's your bed. And dear Mr. Robbo can be over here. Apparently I've been spelling his name wrong for ages. Now the gear that I'm leaving, now these swords have clearly seen better days, but they, you know, you're not intended to keep them very long because hopefully it will encourage you to not stay a squire forever. But there you go, you've got a shield, you can keep that, that's yours, and then you've just got some really basic gear to start you off with and the Tipper Ripper will have the same. There you go. But the shield, that one is, that one you now keep for the rest of your, your service with us. So, there we go. Right. Well, I suppose it's now time to get on with the rest of the episode, I suppose. So let's head back over to Laputria. As you can no doubt tell, we did not end up going to Laputria. Um, <laughs> so we're still here in the... Well, we're back now in the shopping district. Um, dodging creepers like ever before. But um, what we've done is uh, we went to Laputria, gathered up some stuff, and we were about to start building our lovely new shop. Um, for those of you that I haven't told yet, basically I'm going to be opening a bookshop. Not like Fluffy's back there, who that sells enchanted books, but sells all the other types of books. You know, book and quills, paper, uh, pen, no, feathers, that's the one. <laughs> Pens, ink, um, glow-in-the-dark ink, all that kind of stuff, all the fantastic things, and um, most importantly, bookshelves and lecterns and uh, and the like and probably enchantment tables as well because I think that would be a really good thing to sell in a bookshop mainly because it's got a little floating book in the middle now we have had to stop put a hold on this put a big stop big screeching break uh, like you heard a minute ago uh, and um, there was some news that came out today uh, that news is that the update is nearly here is not far away it's just around the corner so what we've been instructed to do is we've got to get our ass in gear and get these roads finished because, well, they're not going to build themselves, are they? So, uh, I guess it's another episode of Roads. And just as we were about to actually start doing some road work, David turned up and he's collected all the flowers. So now we can induct him into the Knights of the Withered Rose. David, you stand before us in this holy chapel, holiest of places. As an initiate to the Knights of the Withered Rose, you have collected the sacred flowers. Step back so you don't pick them up as I chuck them at you. <laughs> and this is why it was a pain in the ass to do the other two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you can just like put them all in your in your uh, hot bar and just yeah, press Q. Yeah, but where's the sun in there? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard it yourself was a pain in the ass. You are no longer just an initiate. You are now a squire of the Knights of the Withered Rose. Hell I yeah. I passed you a yellow helmet. A blue tunic. Some suspect pants. Boots. <laughs> a stone sword. And a shield that is for the Knights of the Withered Rose. There you go. Oh yeah! Yo, I look so sick! <laughs> uh, you weren't lying when you said this armor was you! <laughs> oh my god, I need to repair this ASAP <laughs> before it dies on me here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so... So what do I what do I get to do if I'm a squire? What am what am I what can I access? What so can I use? Access in this, wise, in this place? Um, basically what you've just been given in terms of like arms and armor, unless uh, approved otherwise by the chapter master. Um, and that's about it, really. Until you're a knight, you're just you're basically like an apprentice. You're like an apprentice slash dog's body um, for the moment. <laughs> So what what areas what areas um, of the castle am I not allowed? You will allowed? not be allowed in the meeting room. 
Ah, come with me. Which is? Uh, that's in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's a knight's hall. Uh, well, so you're, I'm not you're even allowed to be train. trained by a knight. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so there you go. So you're not allowed in there. Okay. Okay. You're not allowed in this room. It's a secret. Don't go in there. <laughs> what is this room? Okay. Uh, damn it. You're allowed to partake <laughs> in the the library. Where were you? Okay. At least something. So, uh, essentially, from what I understand, being chilling here with the books, chilling here and, with the books. Uh, and chilling here with it? the books and the boy. All right, all right. Cool. Um, <laughs> you're not allowed in the reliquary that I can't pronounce properly. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Authorizes the order members only. So, um, what are the authorized anybody who members? Anybody is a knight captain and above. So high up stuff. Oh, That's wow. where basically okay. the holiest artifacts of the order are kept. Ooh, and interesting. You're allowed in here, which is uh, well, you can access anything that's in any of these chests in here, technically, because um, this is kind of like a, a bit of a dumping room. Um, oh damn! So can I? Can I? Can I just? Can I just um, do this? Yes, you can have your <laughs> aqua blue pants. And uh, back onto the roads, I guess. And there you go. Um, so we've done a few bits to the roads, as you can see. As you can see, we've gone over there. We're not going to go over there because um, we're being assailed again by the creatures of the night. But um, there we go. We've done a bit more to the roads going around the plaza. I'll just take you on a little bit of a tour. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously, we've, we've had a bit of a busy episode. It goes off in that direction as well, but we're not going to follow that because we haven't finished it yet. Um, a bit of a busy episode, uh, a bit of f a few things going on. Um, obviously, I've had some sound issues, clearly. Something you missed uh, in that little last segment there where um, David was becoming initiated into the uh, Knights of the Withered Rose, or the Order, I should say, because he's not quite a knight yet, um, is that uh, big Mr. Professional over here didn't put his sound on. So I uh, actually had to borrow the audio file from Dave so that I could finish the episode. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think from the sound of things, uh, we might have to call this episode Audio Problems. Get it? From the sound of things? Audio Problems? Uh, <laughs> such a dad joke. Uh, but yeah, so we've done all this area. See? Look look at that. Look at this wonderfulness. And we've um, we've left some areas open to suggestion as to how you might build here. Uh, you got a little bit there. Make a little coldy sac over there. little coldy sac. For those of you that don't know what a coldy sack is, I believe it's French for a road with no end, or something like that anyway. Or that's what its meaning is. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll come down here. And somebody's actually come along and added dirt, because I did not add this dirt. Um, I have a sneaky suspicion that, uh, that this may have been, oh, may have been Dave that did this. David, David, David Dustin of Dusty Contracting. Uh, so yeah. But if you want to see a little bit more about what me and uh, me and the others have been up to, uh, go on over to Big Papa D's channel for for what he's been up to, because he's uh, he's he films a little bit more of the other bits going on in the world than I do sometimes. But that's it. That's everything. That's all I've got. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Have a wonderful night. That's the end of episode uh, eleven. <sighs> oh what have you done to me oh <laughs> i was like what have you done to me what is this <laughs> um where were somebody we? has somebody has cleaned the ramparts oh but, <laughs> mr is anybody actually gonna do this oh <laughs> <gasps> No, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm going to put Big Smoke's face on Rorschach's skin. Oh yeah, cuz he's wearing makes... like um he's wearing like a detective coat, isn't he? Yeah, so then Big Smoke looks like he's wearing a detective's outfit. That's a good idea. Also, it would get rid of this saggy belly.
<laughs> that's right. That, that, that's very true. That's very, very, very. True. And these and these very clear man titties with a sweat patch underneath them. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Now that you said that, I have to get rid of the skin asap. It's just ripping your skin. <laughs> but I'm gonna come sit over there. Actually, I don't want to sit. Over there. <laughs> these benches are way too far from each other. <laughs> there we go. Yes, I was thinking, like, what are, what are we ha what are, what's happening with this? Is this still a um, thing? It's going to be a fact. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting any donations here. Somebody's come along and, you know, they've managed to scrape together 19 cobble, which uh, I, suppose <laughs> I, should, I should be grateful for. Um, there. <laughs> right, thanks, man. <laughs>